Hello, welcome to this session where we're going to spend some time talking about the modernization engine for lifecycle integration, better known as Merlin. I'm Tim Rowe. I'm the business architect for application development. And today I've been honored to be joined by Andrew Clark. Andrew. Hi, Tim. Thank you, everyone. I am uh, Andrew Clark. I'm the Arcad DevOps manager, and I'll be talking about some of the Arcad plugins and integration points specifically as it relates to Merlin. We are so excited about this new Merlin project as we've got this great opportunity for IBM and ARCAD where we've had a long-standing partnership to provide a new level of integrated simplicity. So let's dive into this Merlin thing for just a little bit, figure out what we're talking about. So Merlin is a new platform that we've created to help our IBM I applications businesses deal with the hybrid cloud world. We have created some new tools, all running Red Hat OpenShift container that allow you to do a number of different things. Some of the first tools that we've created as part of this release are really focused on helping our developers with modern development practices. We've got plans for many other tools into the future, and we're excited about where this support goes. For today, we're going to take a look at two specific areas, the IDE, as well as the CICD or DevOps processing tools. We've got a lot of cool things to help with helping our IBM I customers leverage these new concepts for many. Concepts that are normal in the outside world in a simple manner that run in a centralized location your OpenShift Cloud support. First thing we're going to spend time on is DevOps. So DevOps, our CICD pipe pipeline, continuous integration, continuous delivery. We have created some tooling all built around Git and Jenkins that help our IBM I platforms do a continuous development methodology. Being able to take code that's part of your RPG or COBOL applications, being able to build these in an automated manner and being able to deploy those to the various different IBM I endpoints. Jenkins is a great tool for doing this. Now, the beauty is our partnership with RCAD in this case. Andrew? Yeah, thanks, Tim. So, um... Arcad has actually been doing these these DevOps implementations for for more than ten years now. Um, ten years ago, it was just basically some integration with iProjects and RDI. But in the last six years, it's been direct integration with Git. We've expanded our plugins to be able to work with any of the major source control systems. So whether you have Bitbucket or GitHub or GitLab or any other source system, um, we can we can integrate with those. Um, Arcad has this experience in the DevOps space. We have these existing plugins, especially for Jenkins and for GitLab as it relates to, to this Merlin integration. So we've got a bunch of experience with, uh, with that integration. We've taken that experience and now we're leveraging that um, into this Merlin integrated development environment as well. So all that experience, that last decade of experience is going to be moved into this Merlin workspace as well. We're really excited about how this looks and we'll show a few demos along with this. Um, addis additionally, the next area that we'll dive into is right, the IDE. When you develop code, you need to have a natural development environment. We've had PDM on the 5250. It's been around for forever. Um, it's certainly not normalized in today's world. We have our rational developer product, um, which has been a great product and works really well for many people and will continue to work well for a long period to come. But what we really wanted to help focus is on was help our customers that really want to embrace Git as their source control repository as well as a very modern browser-based development environment. So we've created this code-ready workspace, leveraging Eclipse, the slash Thea, leveraging a whole bunch of code plugins to allow us to have true code understanding, very rich 
um, formatting and understanding of our RPG, COBOL, and other native ILE type languages. And additionally, and this is what's really exciting, some of the tools that RCAD has had for years to work with development, things like converting all of your RPG to modern freeform, having an impact analysis tool right at your fingertips. It's no longer an afterthought. These are now integrated. Yeah, just a couple of comments on that too. Um, the other the other big advantage to this environment is it's cloud optimized for those people that, that are thinking about moving some of their um, CICD pipeline into the cloud or maybe moving the entire process into the cloud. This really works very well for that. And in fact, some of those other environments really don't work. So that's that's what fits so well here. Um, and so what we've done is we've, we've taken some of the existing products that we already have and integrated them into the, um, into the Merlin tooling. Um, and we've also added a couple of new pieces. So example for the, uh, for the builder piece, we actually have a, a new web server and some new uh, CLI, new command line interfaces to those. So this is really um, everything. These are all the ARCAD tool that are shipped um, as part of the base Merlin product. I should emphasize on the bottom right there, the metadata repository, that's something that's shared amongst all ARCAD products. Builder, Transformer, RPG, and Observer are here and they are part of Merlin, but our other ARCAD products, things like Drops and Verifier that aren't in, in Merlin, will hook into that as well. So it's a shared repository that allows integration between all the products. And the big thing is if you make a change to an object or an added object or you change an object, all of the tooling automatically realizes that. So if you make a change to a program, for example, all of the tooling knows about it. Builder knows about it and knows which relationships to build. Observer knows about it and knows um, which, um, which objects have been affected and where the where use information is. So, so all of this is directly integrated. Um, both within the IDE, and you can kind of see some of these arrows there, right? So I can, I can right click on an element in the IDE and see impact analysis um, on a constant or a field or a file, um, and also in the CICD process. So if I push an object, if I make a change to an object, push that object, um, I can actually do you know, a CICD build. So something that's triggered automatically through, through Jenkins, through a, through a Git hook, um, so that um, all of the related objects are automatically built. And the big advantage here is because um, we maintain this metadata repository, there's no need to maintain your own make file. And for enterprise level people, if you have you know, thousands of objects and we've seen customers with you know, tens of thousands, 30,000 objects um, with versions that might have 2000 objects, there's, there's really no realistic or manageable way for them to keep up a make file and continually make um, changes to that. That's, that's a development project in and of itself. And the metadata repository takes care of all of that kind of automatically. And then I, I also want to do a shout out to Transformer RPG. That's kind of the first step in this modernization um, process. So um, we're talking about all this new modern tooling and coding. And the only thing that really makes sense is if you're making a change, the first thing you want to do is actually bring that code up to a modern standard, which is fully free form RPG before all of this other tooling comes in play and all of that is kind of automatic. So we're really excited what Merlin has to offer, our modernization engine for lifecycle integration. Now, before we go off, let's just take a moment and let's take a look at Merlin in action. So we'll go ahead and sign in to our Merlin console. Now, the Merlin console, it's really an ecosystem for deploying tools into a cloud OpenShift container. So if we look at the tools that are available in our initial delivery, we have our developer, we have our CI CD tooling. Um, if I look at the tools that have been already up and deployed, I have developer. So we can go ahead and launch our developer application. Now, here we go. I have my workplace open. I have some RPG code. You can see currently this is a uh, free form. The thing that's nice about this is you have some nice fast editing cap uh, scrolling capabilities. You have a rich outline view where you can click around and, and maneuver things. Additionally, you know, if this file was fixed form, I could just right click on it and I could then convert it to fully free form, all integrated. If I, if I wanted, 
I can open up Observer and look at it from an impact analysis perspective. When you're just getting started, the project might not be part of RCAD. No, not a problem. If you go over to the file view, you can configure this project so that it fits into the RCAD ecosystem, which means that it can now be viewed and understood with your impact analysis tools. And additionally, it now becomes part of the build infrastructure. So it's really easy to build, develop code um, within this new infrastructure. So one of the exciting things about the ability here that's different than many of the other environments is that we actually have the concept of a developer build. So what that means is that you can actually um, compile individual source members directly from uh, within the Merlin interface without having to um, push an entire uh, repository to, um, to um, uh, your, your build system. Um, so that's, that's a real great shortcut for developers. That's something that they're um, used to and it will feel natural to them, as well as the ability to um, push entire projects um, into the CICD pipeline that can then be built automatically outside of the development lifecycle. That's yeah, th that's a, a really nice integration point, being able to do all of these um, normalized activities. And, and it's easy to do by creating an IBM project and being able to push those off to do the builds. So with that, uh, I'd like to thank you and uh, look forward to hearing how your adventures with modern development in Merlin can uh, take shape.